a tease of Saudi Arabia and OPEC Russia. The power of SA was always based not on the overall share of the market, but the reality that their oil is by far the cheapest to produce, very accessible and easy to refine, and they are the only major producer historically who kept lots of spare capacity to allow them to influence the market. Daniel Yeltsin reports that the oil shortage in 1973 that led to, among other things, stagflation, never was more than 3% of global supply so the price can be more sensitive to oil withheld. The new global energy reality has been forthrightly addressed in the Accord, as the interim deal is contingent on securing a further 600,000 BPD in cuts from non-OPEC members, with Russia expected to contribute 300,000 BPD to this total. Under that scenario, Saudi Arabia has given up little or nothing, and Iraq, if it really does cut production, will be the major OPEC member taking on the brunt of the agreement. Just recovering from years of sanctions due to its nuclear program, all this past year as the Saudis have frantically tried to reach an OPEC-wide deal to cut their ruinous losses, Iran has held firm that it has no intention of hurting its just unbound economy to take one for the team. Saudi Arabia agreed to pair its production by 486,000 barrels a day, to 10.058 million, according to OPEC Saudi Arabia agreed to pair its production by 486,000 barrels a day, to 10.058 million, according to OPEC. It now can do the same as Saudi Arabia is doing without experiencing a loss of market share or risk to its domestic market. There is no one, or small group, of players with sufficient market power to reduce output. Market inefficiencies, 218. Thanks for viewing this tease. Sign up for the Tip Top Tech channel or search for a tease second mind on YouTube to find and then enjoy other teas.